YouTube family. That man, Mimo 600, done did the damn thing again. Mimo done set his presidents. You feel me on what he got to talk about and what he got to say. Now, Mimo just purchased a crib. That's right, y'all. Mimo got a crib in Cali. The man went to Cali and got the best of the best to get himself out of certain situations to put him in a better place. And we're going to get in tune how Mimo speaks about how folks in them keep talking about, you know, his ties to Dirk and he's beefing with Dirk. He snaps. He had enough. He going to give y'all a breakdown of his answer. Pay these bills and let's rock out. Now, I'm your guy, DJ Bless One. This is Osmo Hip Hop Live. This is Mimo 600, showing you the purchases, buying a crib in Cali, living his best life right now. You know what I'm saying? New crib in Cali he posted the other day. And it, it shows you to come from the mud and accomplishment. You can say what you want about Mimo 600, but to come from the mud and do what he just did right there, I'm sorry, y'all. I give much respect and credit to that. You know what I mean? That's a lot of situations you go through, through that underworld of that mud and that slum slum, and somebody actually make it out. Instead of me hating, I'm going to fall back and see I can make it too. At least that's how I look at life. I don't know about you, but let's get the Mimo responding to the naysayers who think he beefing with dirt. Yo, you quiet, you the feds, boy. Get off my line, boy. Really? I ain't fucking around. Don't come on my shit trying to move me. I'm dancing. Damn, I got an accident right here. You tried to take Papa ass off the road. Hey, Papa, you okay? Forever the family, man. Wake y'all stooped ass up, man. Now what he said was Forever the family You know what I mean Forever the family Now according to Mimo He think it's a particular group of people Who's making these allegations of him Breaking up from the group Because we've never heard Dirk say he's out the group Or Mimo say he's out the group It's a lot of videos where they saying slick things And you gotta be slick if you're coming from the trenches You can't just be in the open And saying things enough Even though a lot of rappers do it Or street niggas do it Some ain't gonna do it, bro They gonna talk in like slick in-house information Only they know, you feel me? So that, that's why you hear them talking about a certain thing And other bloggers will be like Oh, it's about Dirk it's, And it's like, how could you even say that? You know what I mean? Nah me speaking of OTF duty low you feel me like one thing he did mention about them trenches and all that we call them a gang and and, and call them you know groups the squad would he said ain't none of that we just a family that's what we really are we we some real family members you know what I mean so it's a lot of situations like that that you kind of can get caught off guard bro to like how people really instigate a situation to keep going now somebody like me i treat this drill situation just like the nba let me explain it like when i see them dudes being drafted they mama right there daddy right there they brothers and sisters and friends and family everybody right there whether it's the nba draft or nfl draft it don't matter what it is i'm excited to see somebody finally gonna reach their dreams goals or whatever obligations of life bro like to see somebody reach it it just only expires and motivate me more to reach it. So for these drill rappers, if they tell you these things, bro, I take it and, and I listen to it, bro. Like It's like they just like us. They ain't no different. They all just like us, and they come from a different, you feel me, place of, of, of validity, bro. You got to make these dudes solid. You got to you gotta understand it's not a joke to them. It's their life. So... When Mimo says forever only the family or forever the family, however he said it, he's giving you a, a message without really going in and saying it. Like, nigga, I'm, I'm OTF for life. This is deeper than y'all think this rap ish. You feel me? And by the way, rest in peace to Doug and Vaughn because a lot of folks ain't coming back and it's not cool to see some of the, you know, the talented rappers out here we lost. But let's keep it true. What about the folks who ain't no rappers, but they, there was a good positive that you needed in this life even if you thought it was a negative to somebody they because no matter who's a killer or, or who's the bad guy y'all think they are 
and somebody out there loves them and know that they giving a positive vibe to them so everybody means something to somebody so if you can stay out the way get out the way you will understand for me more to respond in the way he did this is months and months like let's go back to a video like this one he did with 600 breezy and folks took this as him dissing little dirk again it's like every live he does they say he's dissing dirk now in my titles i might be like what did Mimo 600 say about Dirk, but once you click on my video, you ain't got to even speculate if I'm one of these clowns out here. No, and the entire video is me always praising both sides and speaking in a high manner of all these folks involved. I don't got no play involving in this, so who am I to beef with them or tweak out and do an extra on the internet? I actually respect all these guys, and I wish we was in a better state, but I know this real life. You can't make everybody kumbaya and hold hands nah dudes is being dropped for real allegedly and we don't know who's involved or what and that's not our jobs we ain't detectives we ain't police so niggas do need to stop doing that part just waking up and creating your own storyline that's kind of brazy bro man, I'm My man. You really, a hoe. I'm really on your ass but not coming to og win but we gonna keep it off here <laughs> really on your ass. I'm really on your ass for not coming to OG Win. <laughs> oh, Steve. Bro, I, I told phone to my mom breezy ass, work, man. Bro. Huh? I went to work for I hopped on that plane from. So now you work for Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> now you work for Amazon. I'm on your ass. Okay? <laughs> Damn, <no. laughs> Ah, what you want, Vic? I'm down here with the man. See, I'm gonna take my bitch ass back to LA for getting the yo. Yeah, I'm waiting on guys that'll hit me, man, and I'm popping out. I've been I working, just talked to him this morning, bro. What are you talking about? It's time to get this, time to get that. You know what time it is? Ready to get it started. Bitch, I got no sense. Hold on, you know, I'm, 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 on, I'm on live with you. I gotta put that shit on, bro. I can't. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. AP on the right, Cotty on the right. <laughs> I I won't take it. You. I got best shit on, gang. I'm gonna get my teeth next week, man. All y'all bitch ass that he dick sucking on Steve, man. I'm on my grown man shit. I did, did all that other shit. Shout out Dr. Rose, man. He did hey, I'm saying, why, why niggas be dick sucking so much, gang? Like, that's what they do. On the gals, that's what they do. So I'll be a lot people, of niggas. I be peeping to sneak this and shit for. I'ma just. I'm going to wait somebody to say something hey, about me so I can go. I can really, I can really go back on my block. I can really go back on my block. Steve Block, D Block, Real Shot, Shell Pop, Shell Hop. Niggas bring stuff on the mailbox. Lead us in before 12 hop. Because you want caviar steak on Lusty. Not, so, no not, no, not no flame of hops. I make sure the killer's real for you. Like, I do this shit on Steve. And I say, Bitch, give a nigga. Bitch, give me the, the, give me the car and the jewelry. You know, you know, you ain't gotta do it online. You know, it's gonna, nigga, nigga gonna have to stop doing that shit one day. Making Dang. me nervous. I'm starting to think y'all worthless. Everybody, red flag on Steve Latrell. I don't give a fuck what you from, where you from, what record label, what deal you got. All y'all make me nervous on my dead brother on 600. You niggas. Holy, and I ain't trying, this ain't no best of phone on my love for them. Everybody's suspect to me. Oh, I'm, right. I'm a robber. Oh, we could have been getting our best of all. Around this bitch, we don't that type of shit. Fuck rolling goop ass niggas like that. Hell nah. We're making hits. We're making hits, man. We try to get rich, Joe. You know what the fuck, bro. Hold on, he go gain up. Nigga, call your studio here. we going to have a live session like this. Yeah, we got the shit. Yeah, we send the sessions back to back. You hear me? The niggas playing, man. No, call your studio man. Now, I'm waiting on him right now. I ain't going to. I'm waiting on him right now. Uh oh. We're supposed to do this. Trap shit, I spent so much. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
nobody I hang with, hung with, none of that shit. I don't do that shit. But I might, you know, I don't steal. I done got on little boss ass a couple times. I steal my brother on dick. I ain't got to kill a motherfucker for him. Ain't nobody going to do shit at one. Nobody going to do shit, bro. I don't steal, nigga. Y'all know how this shit coming. We just got to get our shit tight, 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 tight. And that's gonna be me on Lil Steve. If you call me fool lame, whatever you wanna do, call it on Steve. Blocks the text that say so. On Waldo, nigga, I did enough. I did did a lot, doing a lot, nigga. On my block, nigga. I don't know about no other shit. I know what I did for 600. How they look ears and out. Y'all know how we coming on Steve. We the six on D thing, nigga. We been putting belts on niggas. Before all this fame shit came out, and niggas got clout. 600 put belt on niggas. I ain't even brought up D Rose, now. Oh, niggas be saying for them name to use that shit. That shit was so many years ago, boy. Stage points, thank you very much. Only 30 minutes. Only 30 minutes. Only 30 minutes. Fuck. Only 30 minutes. 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 Only she probably wanna fuck me how you talking and she saying some whole tutter up opposite shit. Ooh. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you, I was smoking. I know you was. I'm glad that you came clean about yeah. it, because you ain't got a lot of me. If I, was I come, if I was coming for something else, I would have told you. Yeah, was... But don't but I'm gonna tell you something. Are you standing in the hotel? Mm-mm. So you just here kicking it, smoking on the on the balcony. No. You just here kicking it, smoking All on wrong. the patio. Watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Love your family, love your kids. Stay blessed, gang. Salute.